I reckon it's time for what is the coolest thing to happen in season five, and that's our Cape York or Bus Challenge. It was pretty cool, and I can't wait to show everyone at home what we got up to. Well, I reckon it was an absolute cracker, and it was definitely one of my best trips up Cape York. Well, you know what? No more waiting. I reckon we just get straight into it, eh? Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Well guys, here we are, the famous Archer River Roadhouse, our starting point. And we made it all in one piece. <laughs> well, I really hope so guys, you know. These guys were on trailers all the way here with these two rockets. No one <laughs> said that we had to drive them here, we just said we had to start here, mate. Well guys, I drove mine and my trailer here and had no tra dramas at all. I don't <laughs> expect to have any. What about yourselves? Nah, look at this thing, mate, come on. This thing is fair dinkum, a Russian tank. I don't reckon anything's gonna stop this. Yeah, I love the snorkel. Oh, look, that, that was my little handy work. Three minutes and it was done. Well, you've done a great job. <laughs> <laughs> Three got the winch up the front as well. Yeah, but more importantly, let's head over to this one. Hey, look at this. <laughs> so I've got some lights on the front. You know, Rico actually installed those. Solid it was, as. Uh, a bit of a swap around for the uh, tyres. It was great. Do they work? Well, they, they did, but then the car stopped working. Fair but enough. got the car working again, so that's okay. And I've got the uh, the BFs as well. So hey, where did this then... come from? Is that in the budget? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Anyways, let's go over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I've got it covered. I've got the suspension, tough dog. It works a treat, but I've got comfort when I go to bed. I've got mm -hmm. the gear trailer, yeah. hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Is that coming up the road? I don't know, but who'd be walking out in this heat? Oh, you'd have to have rocks in here. Hey, I reckon I know that bloke. I reckon I've seen him before. Yeah, I reckon I that's Mad Matt. Can't be. Nah. He sure. wouldn't be that stupid, would he? Have you, ever, have you ever spent any time with the bloke? No, I haven't. Oh, I think we might be about to. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, fair dinkum. It's hot out there. I'm dying. Good. These I could do with a drink. <laughs> and I got one of them for you. Good to see you guys. Oh, what are you doing here? Your bosses in Sydney gave me a call and said, Matt, we've sent these three up Cape York. They've got no idea what's going on. Can you pack a swag and some tools and get up there and... These two are going to need you. Hey, hey, hey. You reckon? <laughs> well, mate, we've been here for a while and we'll just have yeah. a bit of a chat about what it is we're supposed to do. You got any ideas? The bosses gave me the sat phone <laughs> and the message come through and what it says is that from where you are now to the start of the Frenchman's track is 150 k's and you've got to camp on the Frenchman's track tonight. It's time to grab some fuel. Alicia's even managed to find miniature jerry cans for a miniature car. Don't forget the doctor though. Matt's on to checking over the cars and it's not long before he finds a pretty serious problem and it's with my larder. Hey Rick, you've got a problem here bud. The uh, alternator ain't charging. It's only just come off the trailer and my Russian beast has decided to say no. Matt's devised a solution though, but it's going to put us a few hours behind as we send one of the crew into Weeper to find a new alternator. The Orhop larder has had a modification and an upgrade to a Bosch system not the Russian system. We're going back to the Russian system. Do that, please, do that. This is gonna put us behind and we haven't even started yet. At least Matt's working hard though. Hey! <laughs> we have electricity. Stoked to finally be heading north on the Peninsula Development Road. A little bit of bitumen too, which I'm not going to complain about. This is pretty good. You know, I'm really pumped about this car. This is a beast. I reckon it's going to eat up everything the Telegraph track can throw at it. What I love about it is the fact that it's just a little Russian tank. It really is. It's solid. It's tough. It goes. It's just awesome. It is, yeah. It's not really. This car is so, so cool. Well, actually, it's quite warm. It's sitting at 80 at the moment, but I can feel it through the footwell. But she looks good, and that's all that matters. Hey, guys, what's happening? It looks like Rick's holding us up here. What's wrong, Rick? Uh, mate, I'm just making sure Leash can stay, you know, right with the convoy and keep up, um, and I may or may not have fifth gear in this vehicle. Jamie, just sit back and, uh, you know, look out the window and enjoy the view. You've got aircon, you've got all these things you've never had. Why don't you enjoy it? Alright guys, here we are to turn off for the dirt. Let's see what these machines can really do. 
So the trouble with Jamie is, mate, he's in air-conditioned British luxuries. That's going to break down any minute now. <laughs> There's not even any dust, Rico. Ah, uh, dust, Matt? Well, that's because you're up front, and it's a little bit different back here. Not that it matters, though, when you get to drive in places like this. It's just beautiful. Hey, guys, the producers have just sent us a message. You've been running a bit late because of the uh, alternator problem, so we've got to get head up to some old gold mining ruins up here. That's where we're going to camp the night. So not quite the Frenchman's, but it should be a good night. How amazing is this? First night in the Cape, beautiful sunset, and we've also got all the gold mine ruins around us. This is amazing, plus I just got to drive the Zook, and I tell you what, it's gonna win. Do you wanna hear about our next all bus challenge? Check it out on Channel 10. The Simpson Desert, a place that every four-wheel driver dreams of crossing. It's a rite of passage, a box that must be ticked, a bucket list adventure. But for our team, crossing the Simo by a normal four-wheel drive? Nah, that'd be too easy. This year, our crew are taking it on or bus style. Back in the 1960s, Red Sprig, along with his wife and two young kids, took on the desert in a G60 patrol. Our crew have been given the task of crossing it in another vehicle that was available in 1962. Jamie and Jess have chosen a stunning Series 2 Landy that's proven itself across the desert multiple times. Borgie and Leash are doing it the hard way in a 1943 Chevy Blitz. Will they get their rigs finished in time to leave for the desert? Will all our hosts make it to the desert? And will they all make it across the desert? I'm not telling you, you've got to tune in to find out. Simo or Bust, the epic four-part series coming to you June 18. Check it out on Channel 10. The Cape, like many places in Australia, has a rich gold mining heritage. These are the Batavia Goldfield ruins and are over a hundred years old. In 1892, this site yielded over 200,000 ounces of gold. It operated for over 50 years until the 1930s when it was abandoned after World War II. I'll tell you what, I love these places. I could literally spend all day here. Sort of a, a lot different, isn't it, to um, the ones back home? <laughs> these ones live up in the tree instead of in yeah. the ground. It ain't no big deal. It ain't no big deal. When I'm behind the wheel. What a beautiful morning it is. Lovely with the windows down and the uh, dust in the air, isn't it, guys? It's been an absolute rip snorter, and that weather's looking awesome. There's everything going back there, mate. You must be living in the lap of luxury with the aircon going. It actually, I don't know what happened to the aircon. It, um, it just didn't work when I left camp. I suspect maybe there's a bit of foul play there, Jamie, because I did see Matt and uh, Rico underneath your bonnet this morning. <laughs> Of course they wouldn't. I think we've been set up here. I wouldn't put it past them, mate. Uh, they have both mentioned the word sabotage before. Let's have a look at this aircon, mate. I can't have you suffering. Yeah, I'll pop the bonnet. Well, you you open it. I don't know. I don't know how to open it. You oh, open haven't it. you been there before? Oh, stop with <laughs> Jiminy crickets. Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. Ah, look, your wires come undone. Ah, oh, how that happen? Flicked in straight away. Straight away, mate. They're probably the corrugations. It's yeah, um. Yeah. That's you. I think you're a bit of a bitch. Oh dear. Oh, get out of here. Right, right, right. right. Come on, Rico. Let's get out of here. It's so hot. These guys just can't get back. My rangey's the most reliable vehicle here. Hey 
Hey guys, we've just got a message from the uh, the city slickers sitting at their ivory desk. <laughs> um, so we're going to we're at the Frenchman's track here, and there's going to be a tough dog. Oh, there they are, tough dog recovery vehicle. Hey. We have assistance. All right, this is going to be great. It's well known that the Frenchman's track can be pretty tough, so the boys from Tough Dog have brought along their D-Max to make sure we make it through. After getting acquainted with our recovery team, Jerome and Toby, it's time to get into the Frenchman's. The scenery has definitely changed uh, from what we were just driving to this track, hasn't it? Yeah, you're not wrong. I've done the Frenchman's a few times. Just seeing it where it's been burnt, you know, that's just amazing. So we've already checked out this little obstacle and the boys have rushed ahead to be able to check the depth of the Pasco River. Let's see how they're going. Uh, yeah, not bad. You reckon we should candy of the night? Yeah. Boys, what are you doing? You're meant to be checking the depth. We are. This, this is checking the river depth and it's just... <laughs> really? What about over there? It's a big job. It's going to take us a while. Uh-huh. Uh, well, you're up first, mate, so... Oh, really? Tough dog recovery vehicle through. Good idea, Matt. Let's send Jerome and Toby through to make sure it's safe. This is a tough little D-Max, and Jerome's got it all under control. Perfect, hold that line. Bit of right hand down. That's it. Keep coming at that. Bit of left hand down. That's it. Left hand, left hand. Very good. Yeah, I love your work, mate. Good effort. The Pasco at this time of the year isn't too deep, but there are plenty of rocks on the base to watch out for, and the exit's where the real fun starts. The D-Max has it under control though. Now it's the larder's turn. If you want to see more of Cape York or Bust, make sure you subscribe.